Alrighty folks, my name is Richie aka Bogadar and I'm back with another Hearthstone beta video. The first time I actually jumped into the arena, you saw that I went 4 wins and 3 losses with a Warlock deck, which wasn't too bad because I actually lost the very first 2 games, so I was able to squeak out 4 wins somehow to end my first arena. And then of course I jump into another arena match that I'm not filming, and I create a Warrior deck, and I actually get all the way up to 7 wins before I say, alright, maybe I should turn the camera on. So here I'm going to go over what what is in this deck, and then we're going to play the uh, final a few matches and see if I can get to the nine wins and beat it or if I'm going to be dejected and lose three. So let's take a brief look at the deck and then we'll get into one of the matches. The South Sea Deckhand is a decent card. Um, he's he's a 2-1 with charge for one drop. Uh, I do have several ways to get weapons in this so he can come in handy. Uh, the Young Priestess is uh, it's decent. It's a 2-1 for one um, and it's got a really annoying uh, end of turn ability that makes people want to target it with removal which is great. Uh, Cleave is just a, a staple of a warrior deck. It's a great way to do damage to two different enemies. Uh, Commanding Shout allows you to draw a card. Um, but it also, you, your minions can't be reduced, uh, they can't die basically this turn, so that's a great way to turn the tides and get board control. Slam is direct damage plus drawing a card in certain scenarios, which is good. The Acidic Swamp Ooze is just a great, great creature for turn two. It's 3-2 and it can destroy a weapon, which can come in handy. The Imani Berserker, again, uh, 2-3 and if he does get hurt, then he quickly becomes a menacing 5-3 for two mana. It's pretty awesome. The Direwolf Alpha, not a huge, huge fan of this card, but uh, it does, you know, it, it's not bad in the right scenario. Uh, the Iron Beak Owl is great to be able to silence a Taunter or something like that. The Mad Bomber is interesting, splitting damage between random characters. I've had it hurt myself uh, as well as the opponent, so it's a little bit risky, but it is a 3-2 two for 2. The Pint Size Summoner is actually much better than I originally thought. Uh, putting this creature out on turn two makes your first minion the next turn cost less, and uh, it really makes the opponent uh, want to get rid of it quickly. And uh, the Demolisher here is an absolute beast. This is a bomb card. Um, the uh, opponent has to get rid of that right away before it starts wrecking things on the board. Now, I do have three Frothing Berserkers here, which is next. Uh, these guys are an absolute menace. Uh, anytime a minion takes damage on either side, it gains plus one attack. If they're not dealt with right away, this thing grows to be huge. I've had some of these have like 10-4 or 8-4 in my previous games. I got three of them in the deck. The Iron Forge Rifleman man is meh. He's not bad. Raging Worgen's a great staple card, especially if you can poke him for one damage. Uh, that's that's great. Uh Great Wind Fury and plus one attack. The Shattered Sun Cleric is um, totally stable. 3-3 three, three for 3, and you can give plus one plus one to someone else. Wolf Rider, 3-1 charge for 3. Ah, eh, it's a little bit weak, but uh, it's not bad for actually doing some surprise damage. I got four Arathi Weaponsmiths in this game, and it's just awesome to get a 3-3 three, three creature for 4, but it also equips a 2-2 two, two weapon on myself. Uh, great staple. I've won many games using this card. You can't beat the price of 4 for a 4-5 four creature in the Chilwin Yeti, a great card. Defender of Argus, 3-3, three, three, gives uh, adjacent minions plus 1, plus 1, and taunt. And then I have a Corcoran Elite here, a 4-3 charge creature for 4 mana. And not shown here on the bottom for some reason, I have a 5 mana cost Arcanite Reaper, which is a 5-2 weapon. A Dark Scale Healer, which is a creature that actually heals when it comes into play. And uh, two Taunters, the Senjen Shieldmasters. Now let's get to our first game. Garrosh versus... Now, as a uh, warlock, I didn't like playing against priests, but the warrior fared much better. My opening hand here, uh, it's kind of costly, a little bit high creatures, so I uh, actually tossed the dark scale healer and the two weaponsmiths. And what do we get in return? We got that's eh, a little bit better. Little we got we did a little bit worse in some areas, but at least we've got another two drop. And of course, we've got the mana coin here. And another pretty high casting cost stuff. So we're not going to get out a bunch of stuff early this time, but we'll see how it goes. I actually decide to break out pretty early with the Berserker, since I know I'm not going to have much many things to follow up with. Okay, Acidic Swamp Ooze. At least he put it out then, and not when I got my Arcanite Reaper out, because that would be definitely worse. So 
I'm debating whether to use the owl now or save it for when I can get rid of something with silence. So I'm going to put the priest out. Um, it actually draws fire quite well. You'll see at the end of the turn, it actually gives health to this other creature here. It makes him a little bit more beefy. And now he cannot be killed by the, uh, the acid, the ooze. Okay, he brought out the iron for grizzly and... Yay! So he trades those creatures, which is perfectly acceptable to me. And I have a 2-4 Berserker left behind. So I can cast my Owl now. I'm glad I saved it to get rid of this taunt. What now? There we go. And now we can continue our, our work on the priest. Job's done. I do have one mana left over there. I don't like ending my turn, especially early like that. But I think that was a fairly good play. My shield for Argus. And he puts the taunt right back. Oh, fantastic. Thank you, sir. Can I have another? All right, we got four mana. Definitely look like I should trade the owl for the taunter. That's a that's a good trade right there. Get rid of that, and we'll put out the uh, Sengen Shield Master. We've got a taunter of our own. Okay, doubling the health so he can survive an attack. We wounded each other, and he's going to heal. Alright, a rifleman. We could do one damage with that. Alright, let's see. Turn five. It might be time for the Arcanite Reaper! And hope he doesn't have another ooze. Right, let's take out his creature, and then we'll go swinging for three. It's important to keep the pressure up on a priest. If they can uh, dig their heels in and get board control, then they can start healing things, and they, their health goes back up. And uh, there's the ooze. No good. No bueno. Well played. What does the future? Hold? All right, and he brought out a two-three with wind fury. And we got our dark scale. Alright, let's go for the dark scale, and we'll actually heal up our uh, our troll there. And then we can hit him three to the bean. I'm gonna let him attack me if he wants to take out my, uh, my uh, taunter. He'll have to uh, lose both creatures to do it as things stand now. Which is a perfectly fine trade. Okay, he holy fires my dark scale. And he gained five health. And he just passed the turn without attacking. Alright, that's acceptable. Alright, we pulled an Arathi Weaponsmith this turn. Which seems like a good play. We can get a 2-2 weapon out of it. Alright, and we'll put down the Worgen as well. I'm gonna hit him with the Taunter. Again, I want him to have to kill creatures on it. And I'll take out the slime to take the three damage. All right, we'll pass the turn. See how this goes. Hmm. Okay, he's using another holy fire. Ugh. And took out my creature, and he gained five more life out of that. I feel like I've been hitting him a lot for him still being at 27 life. All right, he's gonna win fury me, and restore. Oh, he's back up to 29. Great, fantastic. All right, we got a Corcoran Elite, a 4-3 charge. Okay, if I can actually do damage to this guy, he gets Wind Fury and plus one attack. So I think I'm going to shoot my own guy with the Rifleman. Pretty good combo here. And now he's got Wind Fury. I got a Wind Fury creature of my own. So we'll start doing more damage. Fire! 
We'll hit him for four more with the charge, and then we're gonna trade creatures here. And hit him once more with my uh, my axe there. All right, that was a pretty good turn. He's down to 15 life. I've got board control unless he can wipe it like with a big AOE spell. I should be good. Is someone injured? All right, he breaks down a Northshire cleric, which could get him some uh, cards out of it, but I think it's gonna be a little too little too late. <laughs> my thanks. Oh, six six temple enforcer. This guy's a little scary. All right, we got another Arathi weaponsmith. Right, we're gonna go for the kill here. We're gonna see can we kill? Can we go all the way? He healed my guy, so I can't do Wind Fury. So I think I miscalculated there a little bit. <laughs> like yikes! Watch this. So I thought I could do the kill right there, but he took it away from me. That was a good move, actually healing my guy. Try this. Alright, I can get him down to one. Probably shouldn't have put out the Yeti, necessarily, because uh, in case he can wipe the board with something, I would have no creatures in my hand. So I took the gamble, took a little bit of a gamble there. Is someone injured? But instead he brings down a North Shark Cleric. And he's going to heal my guy, so he can get a card. Actually, he's going to gain two cards for this. It's kind of a little nerve-wracking that he's going to pull something. He's going to top deck something with seven mana left. He's checking all of his cards one last time. Can I do anything? Can I get out of this mess I'm in? You have been nope. And there we have it. All right, we beat the priest. It's a pretty good game overall. And uh, that makes, what does it make, eight wins? Yeah, eight wins with this arena deck. He could go all the way. All right, that's going to wrap things up. Uh, hope you enjoyed this episode. I will uh, wrap up the end of this arena series in, the, in probably the next episode. We'll see how it goes. Uh, subscribe, like, favorite, and all that stuff. And I hope everybody has a fantastic day. Take care.